Okay, listen up, all you Pollyanna princesses out there. That's you, and you, and you. It's only two people I can think of. Um, Andy and Mike, not me. You're so excited about making games, and honestly, I am too. But he, this is my disclaimer for all future videos. Um, yeah, making indie games is the most fun job in the world. I wouldn't choose any other. <clears throat> I came up with one job I'd rather have, which is being so incredibly rich that I could do anything I want, and I already have all the money I need. And if I did that, I'd be making games, but I wouldn't be marketing them or worrying about whether people cared about them or not. So it'd be a lot easier, and I could make whatever I want. But other than that, I wouldn't choose any job over making indie games. And I would say that goes without saying, but two people said it before me. Now I'm saying it. So now it's been said. And so for the rest of this indie indie conversation, just be aware that this is the best job in the world, but it's got plenty of difficulties and issues that we can discuss, and that's what this is for. This is an opportunity to commiserate with your buddies about, you know, the challenges that we face in this job. It, you know, we're not dying of dysentery unless we're playing Oregon Trail, but we've got our own issues. You know, like Mike said, we're up here. Sometimes we're down to here, and let's talk about that range, because that's what we've got. So, let's communicate our problems, please. Open up. Feel. Experience. I got a haircut, so I got that going for me.